Since the cholera outbreak began in September, there have been more than 22,000 cases in Mozambique alone. There's concern that there are rising number of cholera cases in, in many countries in Africa, parts of southern and eastern Africa. And what concerns authorities here in Mozambique, health workers and other authorities, is that people continue to use open streams and rivers like this one to connect water for their everyday needs. They use it to bathe, they use it to clean their homes and to cook with. And very few of them have any other option. There's no running water in many places, specifically rural areas, and that's why people come to rivers like this one. People here don't know if there are waterborne diseases here, and because they don't have an option, they continue to connect water. Now, aid agencies are saying that they want to assist various water bodies and also treat them, but that hasn't happened in many places. The government is also distributing about 2 million vaccines. They want that distribution distributed through the year. So far, a few hundred thousand have been distributed, but there's also concern that that isn't enough. There's also an awareness campaign that's going on through various districts in Mozambique to make people aware of the dangers of a certain water, the dangers of waterborne diseases and what they can do to protect themselves. But as long as people use streams and rivers just like this and they don't know if the water is safe, it's not certain whether or not the cholera outbreak will end anytime soon.